many people wonder about the costs of some of today's top combat aircraft. Discussing the price of fighter jets is somewhat challenging because no country buys fighters in isolation. What typically happens is purchases of packages that include the fighters, along with spare parts, pilot training, and many other components, so the final cost can be heavily influenced by what is included in each package. The simplest yet most effective way to calculate the price of a fighter jet is by dividing the value of its export contracts by the number of units purchased. This provides a general idea of how much each fighter costs including initial logistics for operational capability. For example, Indonesia bought 42 Rafales for $8.1 billion, averaging $192 million per unit. India purchased 36 Rafales for $8 billion, resulting in $222 million each. Qatar acquired 24 Rafales for approximately $7 billion, around $290 million per unit. Other Rafale export contracts fell within this price range. This means that a country purchasing new Rafale fighters from the factory can expect to pay between $190 million to $290 million per unit, depending on what else is included in the contract. The Eurofighter Typhoon can be even more expensive than the Rafale. Qatar purchased 24 Typhoons for $5 billion, roughly $208 million per unit. Kuwait bought 28 Typhoons for $9 billion about $321 million each. Other Typhoon purchases may include other aircraft models in the same contract or come from countries already operating the Typhoon, which can distort the values. In practice, a country looking to buy new Typhoon fighters would likely pay between $200 million to $320 million each. The FA-18 Super Hornet is cheaper than European twin-engine jets. Kuwait bought 28 Super Hornets for $2.7 billion, averaging $95 million per unit. Australia acquired 24 Super Hornets for $4.6 billion, costing approximately $190 million each. This results in a unit cost ranging from $95 million to $190 million for a new Super Hornet, depending on the acquisition package. The F-35A has several export contracts, but they fall within the following ranges. Poland purchased 32 F-35s for $4.6 billion, at $143 million each. Australia bought 72 F-35s for about $14.7 billion, equating to $204 million per unit. Germany paid $8.8 .8 billion for 35 F-35s, approximately $251 million each. This means that a country aiming to buy a fleet of F-35A fighters for its air force would pay around $140 million to $250 million each. The Sukhoi Su-35 continues the tradition of Russian equipment being more affordable than its Western equivalents. China bought 24 Sukhoi Su-35s for around $2 billion, averaging about $83 million each. Egypt initially signed a contract for the same number of aircraft at the same cost but later backed out of the purchase. Taking these contracts into account, a new Su-35 costs around $80 million. The Gripen E is the cheapest Delta Canard jet. To date, Brazil is the only export contract for the Gripen E, acquiring 36 jets for about $5.4 billion, approximately $150 million per unit. Brazil's case is unique because, in addition to the jets and initial logistics, they also acquired technology transfer, including a structural component factory, final assembly line, training of Brazilian engineers in Sweden, development of a two-seater version as required by the Brazilian Air Force, and the development and integration of wide-area displays, financed by Brazil. It's not possible to determine the price of a Gripen E without considering the cost of this technology transfer, but a country buying the Gripen without needing to manufacture it domestically would pay significantly less per unit than Brazil. The F-16 Block 70 has a price range similar to the Gripen E. 
Taiwan purchased 66 F-16 Block 70S for $8 billion, around $121 million each. Slovakia bought 14 F-16 Block 70S for $1.8 billion, about $128 million each. Bulgaria signed a contract for 8 F-16 Block 70S in 2022 for $1.3 billion, costing approximately $162 million per unit. Other F-16 Block 70 export contracts fall within these mentioned values, meaning a country looking to acquire a new F-16 Block 70 for its Air Force would pay between $120 million to $162 million per unit, depending on what else is included in the package. The F-15QA is the most expensive on our list. Qatar bought 36 units of this customized version of the F-15 for $12 billion, at a unit cost of $330 million. Conversely, the JF-17 is the cheapest. Nigeria purchased three JF-17 Block II units for $184 million, approximately $61 million each. Myanmar acquired 16 JF-17 Block II units for $560 million, resulting in a unit cost of about $35 million. However, Myanmar's Air Force signed several subsequent logistical support contracts after the acquisition, indicating that $35 million per unit might only cover the jets, with additional costs like training and spare parts being acquired separately. It's likely that Nigeria's payment, around $60 million per unit, is closer to the actual cost for the JF-17 Block II. These are the current prices of the main fighters according to their export contracts. Internal purchases by the countries of origin of these aircraft were not considered, as they may not represent the average price that a foreign customer would pay. However, this method allows us to estimate how much a country needs to spend to have these jets in their respective air forces. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.